Welcome to Board Game Archaeology, where we play time-worn games from the past. I'm Hunter. I'm Rob. And today, we're going fishing. Fishbait from 1965, another Rube Goldberg game with Mousetrap and Crazy Clock. Mousetrap, we did a couple episodes. If you haven't seen it, strongly recommend it. You actually get to see it work. I think it was the first chance we got, and it actually worked, so it was kind of cool. Um, um, this is 1965 for up to four players, and it really doesn't have an age limit on it, but I think the building of it might be a little tough, so I'm going to guess uh, maybe seven and above. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. No, the goal of the game, similarly to Mousetrap, is to be the final fisherman alive. Yep, and it comes with the uh, board, which is very basic to play, um, fun to build. Um, you build as you play. We just threw some of this together, so we weren't building the whole thing right now. So it comes with this board. It comes with all the contraptions. I think there's 15 contraptions, including the marbles. You have your four players, and the fish And this has to be built back on, but I wanted to leave them off so you could see the whole setup on the board. Because, yeah, you have someone who goes first, and you just roll the die and do what spaces tell you to do. Similarly to Mousetrap, when you're going through, as you like follow the directions, it ultimately kind of gets you into that loop that you'll then be doing with the rest of the players. And that really kind of leaves the room for these pieces to be built because they're kind of like in the way in the beginning. But by the time that you have that far into the, you know, building process, you're going to be in the loop by then. Right. Um, it, it's a little tricky in the very beginning because you just got to follow the instructions and see which way to turn things. But it goes together pretty easily. And, uh, yeah, it's a great Rube Goldberg game. And I'm not sure if it's going to work 100% of the time. But what happens is when you're playing the game and you get into that loop, like Hunter said, there's fish bait or catch fish. So if you land on fish bait, you take your character, you open the fish's mouth, there's a rubber band in there with a, what they call a life preserver, going into a fish's mouth, and this boat comes up, and you just clip him on here. And so the next player that lands on catch fish, and again, you're only going in this circle, so it's not like you have a lot of time to spare. If your dice rolls go, it's going to happen. And if somebody lands on catch fish, you get to do the marbles, and that's by giving a high five to that thing. Let's see if it'll work for you. Oh, 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 there it is. You got all the marbles. But will they push oh, through? Oh, no, we got a stuck thing. So, again, with Mousetrap, that's a problem. So, we would reset the game, and Hunter's character would switch out with mine. And I would go back on the board. Now, the instructions are kind of vague on this. It almost sounds like they want you to switch and try and try and try until somebody gets taken out. But it just seems like... It's too quick and too, I don't know. It just doesn't feel as right as putting you back on the board, putting you in the loop so you can continue playing the game. And that's, again, one of the special um, instructions on the back. They have that where they say switch out with the character. And I think that should be just general. Yeah. Otherwise, if, say, Hunter didn't work, I would take my character off and I would put his character on. And I'll snap him there. And then my character, I I think, would go there because it really doesn't tell you. And then we'd have to reset the marbles. And you would just keep trying. So Because that's Three, kind of four, like the five. conflict is that the special instructions will say to swap. But by default, we think it's a dual system where it just goes back and forth. Yep. And so we're going to see if this is going to work again. And again, we didn't. So this time the bird took us out. But if it did work, and it will, because we showed you in video that it will, and, and it didn't work. It gets snapped in his mouth. So again, like Mousetrap, it certainly doesn't work every time. Yeah, and it seems to take into account that it won't work all of the time and incorporates it into its gameplay. Which is kind of interesting. I think once you get it set up and you get it to work once, you'll probably have it fine-tuned enough where it'll constantly work. But until that moment, you're going to be tweaking and stuff like that. It's a fun Rube Goldberg game. Would I pick this one above Mousetrap or Crazy Clock? No. It's a lot smaller. There's a lot less to it. 
I think it would be great to buy one of these and paint it realistically. I've always wanted to. So if somebody has an extra version of this that they'd like to send me for me to paint up and build, let me know. I would love to do it. I love the artwork. I love the plastic. I love Rube Goldberg. I love the whole setup. I think it's a fun game. Yeah, and I really like, uh, you know, Mousetrap is kind of the more famous to format of this game. But that that fish is very quick and it it's is. very snappy. It's almost like magic because once it hits, it just is in his mouth and it just disappears and kind of shocks you. It shocks you when it works and, you know, <laughs> that it works. Right, and because of that, there is suspense when the marbles are falling because you're waiting for the mouse trap, Like a real mouse trap. when you set yeah, it, you're yeah. waiting for it to snap. And so the fish is kind of like that in this game. And it helps kind of mitigate, because in Mousetrap, you get into that loop, and sometimes things can feel kind of like, okay, you know, going along. But when you have that thing that's just ready to... It, it does, it adds something to it. Yep, and I think you could put a stronger rubber band in it, but I think if the rubber band is too strong, that might be part of the gravity thing too, because mm -hmm. a marble has got to push this little boat down to make the, the fisherman go up past this little point which makes him shoot into his mouth. Well, thanks for watching. Yeah, and if you want to know more about us, check us out at toyarchaeology.com. You can also find us on Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.